Good morning, PSW clients and staff. Welcome to um, West Side Story Part 2. Uh, this is Wednesday, and uh, we're just going to do a uh, continuation of Leonard Bernstein and West Side Story, and then also, like I said last time, show you a little bit uh, more clips from it and um, uh, talk about who was involved uh, more, because obviously it wasn't just the composer Leonard Bernstein. Um, so yes, and I have a new microphone, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear me better. Uh, so let's begin. Um, I want to back up because we watched a clip in the first part, and I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to show you personally why I think this is such a cool musical and um, not just cool, but revolutionary in a sense. And this is something that um, I know nothing about dance or ballet. So this is something that Lindsay probably knows way more about. But this is just an observation that I think is really cool. If you look at this shot, you'll notice these, this is traditional ballet, right? These guys are doing uh, moves that are you know, conventional, beautiful. This is from Don Quixote. Um, and then if you put it and watch this shot, they're doing ballet, but they're doing it in the streets. And um, that was pretty remarkable. I mean, that like that was not, I don't want to say taboo, but that was not very normal to bring ballet and make it uh, quote unquote cool um, because it was like, you know, as I said, Bernstein was um, very important as with Jerome Robbins, the choreographer, um, equally as important as blending the classical and jazz approach, uh, those two approaches, blending them together. Um, and at the time, in the 50s, it wasn't, it wasn't really done. It was beginning, the early 20th century had mostly classical music and classical dance, and you didn't really break those barriers. But in the middle of the 20th century, those were becoming more acceptable to break, and um, more interesting things happened, you know? So uh, I just kind of wanted to point out those two little cool dance, like juxtapositions of those two dance uh, scenes, and while why I think that's very cool of West Side Story to do. And um, and then that's actually a good uh, segue to um, Jerome Robbins, who is the choreographer and the director of West Side Story. So um, equally as important as Leonard Bernstein, he was um, just tremendously influential. And uh, the other person is Stephen Sondheim, who wrote uh, the lyrics to West Side Story. And some would argue maybe perhaps some of the music here and there um, uh, we don't really know. He was much younger than Bernstein, much less established. This was kind of his first show. Um, and then I should mention Arthur Lawrence, who did, uh, who wrote the book to West Side Story, which, as most of us know, is based on Romeo and Juliet. Um, you know, loosely, obviously. So, getting back to the musical aspect of uh, West Side Story. Um, Let's talk about the uh, orchestrations a little bit. Orchestrations are arrangements, pretty much. You know, how if you have a song, a melody on the piano, you plunk it out. That's not really the, an orchestration at all, unless it's a solo piano piece. I guess it could be, but not really. But an orchestration is when you add more instruments, right? More than one instrument uh, together. So hence the word orchestra. All of them are playing. So um, Bernstein was really a genius about this because uh, he was one of the few composers, uh, especially Broadway um, um, songwriters, to orchestrate his own music. Uh, he had two other uh, people that kind of helped him do the parts and the copy, uh, copying, but it was mostly his sound. And his sound, um, his classical training, um, really was influential in using, uh, it, it was easy for him to use this in uh, the the scoring of West Side Story because as you can hear, uh, as we will hear, um, some of the orchestrations are very um, reminiscent of Stravinsky, who we looked at last week, um, and other classical composers, which again, wasn't really um, done when, you know, kind of traditional Broadway 40s music. 40s, 50s music. Um, it was more kind of, you know, like Dixieland, Tin Pan Alley, you know, great stuff, but not, you know, why bring Stravinsky into the Broadway theater? You know, that's, that's just seems like way too much work. But um, Bernstein uh, was actually um, uh, wanting to do that. L let's listen to these, uh, to this, this is a very famous piece, Mambo, and, and let's watch the scene because it's fun. So uh, here's Mambo. <laughs> Hey, Tony! 
then the love story kicks in and the movie kind of goes downhill after that. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's it's great, but uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so let's um, listen to this phrase right here. <laughs> And then let's listen to um, Stravinsky's phrase uh, from the Rite of Spring um, 40 years ago or something. It's, It's not... Um, the same thing at all, but do you see the orchestrations are a little bit similar um, as opposed to, well, I don't know if I really want to play an example of just mainstream Broadway orchestrations, but uh, because I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but uh, do you see how uh, Bernstein was using those sophisticated orchestrations that classical composers like um, Prokofiev, Stravinsky, other, other people, you know, they were really using that. Okay, I'll give you one example just to kind of show you that uh, older music sounded like. And this is from a, a, a corny musical, but the songs are fantastic. It's from Babes in Arms. And um, Richard Rodgers, I mean, some of the best songs, My Funny Valentine, came out of that. But let's listen to this clip, and you'll notice, you know, it's more um, the orchestrations, the background instruments. They're not really doing anything as sophisticated. Still great songs, but just listen to what I'm kind of trying to explain and then um i don't know i mean i feel i feel like we barely got through west side story so i'm contemplating if we should do another day but um if we don't tomorrow then don't hold me accountable i just have to think out loud about um what we're gonna do so either tomorrow we'll do another west side story but if we don't then um i don't know i just you know i can't i can't plan that far ahead thanks for watching miss all you guys so much love you clients and um Stay well, stay safe, and uh, let's watch this number from Babes in Arms. We got a sight for